Hi, welcome to 1100 Decibel Sound, a YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over our third segment of, of making drums in Cubasis 3. So MIDI drums in Cubasis 3. So let's get started on this one. It's a little bit harder than some of the ones we've been going through lately. So just hang with it and uh, we'll get started. So first thing we do is go to Media and New Project and pick New Project and we'll name it Drums exclamation point two of them this time. So we're going to hammer down on some drums here. We'll close this window and we'll add a MIDI channel. And it's uh, not set up for drums. We'll pick the piano. And we'll go to the bottom right corner and pick drums. And this time we'll pick uh, AM Rock Kit number two just for a change. So you can see I've selected it. There's a little preview. We'll close this window. Now with me, with uh, Cubasis, if you select the drums, you get pads built in. So I got the pads open by just picking pads right here. So if you do, you can see the pads right here. That's a pretty good little drum beat. Let's record that. So first thing I do is arm this track and then I make sure my beats per minute are slow enough where I can keep up with it. And for this I'm going to go down to probably, let's just hold that and make it scroll up fast, 90 beats per minute. Okay. And 4-4 signature with a pre-count mode of two bars. There's a reason I go so slow. I'm going to turn the metronome on for the recording purposes. And for this uh, one, I, I'll probably uh, do as usual, start in on bar three, which is kind of hard to do sometimes. There's a pre-count of two, so it'll be four bars before I start playing. So here we go. We're going to play the drums right on in here. And um, so... Um, here we go. I'm going to hit record. Alright, that should be enough to get a MIDI drum in. Let's stop this. And then we can see if I squeeze it in, I've got some MIDI notes there. And if I pull it out, I went to four bars with it, okay? So let's close this and inspect this a little more. If I deselect it, I've got some front tailing and some rear tailing now. And we all know that I like to change this to bars. And then I pick this bar three, and then I pick the part that I want to get rid of, and I split. And it... It's good. The first note was in this section, luckily. So sometimes, if your first note's not in that section, uh, it will. We'll squeeze it a little more. It will delete that first note or move it to that first section. So you can see that uh, I've got two selections. I've selected the first selection. I'm gonna, and that first note's not in there, and I'm gonna hit erase. Now let's see this section. If I pick it and hit select this one and then hit split let's just see where that note went to that was there it's disappeared it was in between the selections that i picked so let's undo that a little bit do we want to keep that note let's let's inspect this midi track in detail the way you do that is double click it and you can see i get a piano row down here with some notes and some velocities down here. So for this I'm going to uh, see if I can pick this line and bring it up a little bit so I get a little more room to work with. I'm going to scroll up so I can see what's going on and then I'm going to zoom in on these MIDI notes. Okay. 
So just inspecting this drum track, I hit the first beat pretty much on the three third, uh, the start of the third measure. Um, and uh, the second one I hit pretty much, but the third one I missed it at number five. That's all right. Well, real drummer's going to miss sometimes too, but you can see this one. If we expand on it, it's split on seven, and that's the reason it erased it. Well, we really don't need that drum beat there anyway because it's the end of my measure. So for right now, we're just going to uh, go select that drum beat and then hit erase up here. It's got the same type of things you see up up the top here. So you can hit select right there and select multiples or just one and then hit erase and we can erase that note. So now I have uh, erased that note and I've fixed my little error. So I'm going to close this window for now. We'll go back to it later. I pick number seven and I hit split and then I hit erase here. And then now I can come back and let's just listen to the, I'll take it off record. Let's take the metronome off. Not bad, but I think I want a little bit better uh, recording. And that's just the drums and the snare, so we can add something later. So I'm going back and I double click this thing again, and I'm going to zoom in. And this is what they call a mini editor, and I'm going to move it up. And right here, this note still kind of is bugging me. So I'm going to pick select right here in this menu, and I'm going to select it. Now, what can I do with that? When I pick that note and hold it, I can move it around. Okay, now MIDI editing is very frustrating. Okay, so I'm going to pick undo and redo that again for you. And see, it's on that bar, and I'm going to select outside right now. And then I'm going to select inside that note. And now, as you can see, my grid right here is in eighth notes. So I can move it in eighth note intervals on this measure. Excuse me, I hit the wrong button there. So it's snapping to eighth notes. If I wanted to snap it to sixteenth notes, I could change my grid. If I want to snap it to bars, I could change my grid. If I want to snap, change it to off, I could move it to wherever I want, which is back in the wrong place again that I don't really like. So, we're going to go back and put it at uh, eighth notes. That's easy enough to manipulate in this scale. And I'm going to move it to the beginning of the bar. So I have it. And we can fix any other note we wanted uh, simply by selecting that note. Uh, down here at the bottom, you can scroll up a little bit and you can see that you have velocity. Also, so you can pick a velocity note and raise it. See, I've got that velocity of this note, and I can lower it or raise it. If I deselect it and pick another one down here, I get the velocity, and I can raise and set the velocity. So I can put some interesting velocities in these uh, notes right there and make the drum bait sound better so if I scroll along here um, we'll raise this up a little more here and maybe maybe we can move this one the velocities but you, there's all kinds of things you can change over here but with drums really all you're worried about is is the uh, velocity so anyway you can play around with that uh, velocities um, and move the notes selected that you want. So um, if you want to, if you lose, you're, they're here somewhere. So if I want to select all the first kick drums, let's deselect first. Select all the first kick drums. Okay. And then I go down here to velocities 
and I, I can move all the kick drums together and make them accent really heavy okay now we'll uh, pull this back down find my notes again I'll do deselect oops I, I included the wrong one right there but let's go ahead and fix that one Put it back down high there. So, so we got all the first kick drums accented, and we want to, now we want to pick all the second and third kick drums. So since I've got it on select, it lets me select multiple. Now I can come down here to velocity. And move those down a little bit so now that we've adjusted velocities we'll close that I will select outside this window and I will hit rewind and it rewinds to my right cursor I'll hit rewind again it goes to my left and I'll hit play so I've changed the drum beat quite a bit right there so anyway, we can come back and select this if we like it, and we can copy, we can paste, and we can keep pasting that so that we have um, as many pastes as we want. I can paste a lot right there and make that drum beat my metronome. So now I can pick it outside the box, and I'm ready to start this project and add another instrument, and I have a built-in metronome at 90 beats per minute. Now, that will conclude this segment of uh, 1100 decibel sound. There's a lot to go over in this one, so I'll, if we need to, we'll cover it a little later in another video, I'm sure. So anyway, appreciate you tuning in, and have a good day.